my advice is to uh, talk about funding last. Focus on uh, any kind of, I guess, um, collaborations that have already been done and focus on those positives to kind of guide you. For example, with one of the school divisions um, we develop an ESA with, there is a lot of collaboration beforehand. And when we started the process of the ESA, we kind of got caught up in the funding part. So we told ourselves we're going to do a reset, a restart. And then we really focused on our relationships with that provincial school board. And then we quickly saw that there was a lot of positive work in place already. And we had to uh, really look at that. And then we started to, you know, divide those out and then seeing which ones were really beneficial for both parties. And then we started um, negotiating our ESA after that because we wanted to make sure we did everything on a positive note. Uh, when we started talking about funding, it kind of derailed our, I guess, our um, communication. But once we took that part out and then we started just looking at all the positive work that we had already done, um, then we were able to kind of determine what worked best for our students and our staff and our communities. Then we started determining uh, uh, where uh, we needed work, where our weaknesses were uh, for both parts. And, you know, the work continued until we reached an agreement. Then we started talking about funding. And even before that, uh, we had to, uh, I guess, share with each other and one of the things that was really um, impressive is when we started talking with one of the school boards, we agreed that this is going to be a 50-50 negotiation. Everybody has an equal say. Whether the school board is maybe, you know, like for example, if there's a school board that has 10,000 students and they're negotiating with a, another school board that has maybe 500 students, they need to be treated equally. They need to be uh, recognized with their, um, any, like any um, concerns they have need to be taken seriously. And that's the only way you can build that mutual respect. Because once that mutual respect is there, um, anything's possible with the negotiations.